<laughs> this yeah. show is honestly summoning <laughs> Satan. <laughs> Mark Rambu Weebs. My name is Cole. His name is Mike. His name is Jay. Oh, we like anime. I didn't even this know we is episode recording. 94 <laughs> of the Anime Protagonist <laughs> Podcast. And on this week's episode, we are doing a review of the masterpiece that is Girlfriend, Girlfriend. I purposely caught my co host off guard. I wanted to put Mike oh, in a very so unflattering stealthy. position. And Jay doesn't even know what's going on. Look at this guy. He's, I know. He's confused. Cole and hit the so with, a, with a jump scare this week. I hit you guys with a jump scare. The listeners, I, I fade in nice. They know when I'm starting at the end of the music. Oh, that's right. But you guys weren't paying attention to the music cue, but I was in my head. See, I was playing the song in my head. Mm. It goes like that's this. Wh- that's why you're like... I don't think that's right. I, no? I just okay. don't think that's biblically accurate. Well, let me tell you, boys, what I've been doing this week. Tell me. I so in between watching Girlfriend Girlfriend for our review, mm-hmm. I also watched the 1982 classic mecha anime, Super Dimension Fortress Macross. Oh, oh yeah, did you see oh, my uh, comments on your Annie list? I did not. Why don't you tell no. me what you commented? You actually no, no, no. commented on how someone's about, Annie list? How about you? Yes, I did. How about you look it up right now on air? How about I read it live on yes. air? Yes, read it live okay. on air in front of the entire world. Okay, hold on. I gotta find you. When did you comment? Uh, like... Oh, should, there it is. Two hours ago. Is notification. Yeah. Jay Guardian commented seven hours ago. <laughs> to me, completing Macross, he said, wrong show. <laughs> Jay, well, that, I also that watched... Girl, I also watched Girlfriend, Girlfriend. <laughs> uh, so you can kindly bite me. Uh, but it was a very good show. Mike, you should check it out. I know you like Mecca. It's Mecca, it's, yep. Yep, yep, it's, yep. It, it's seminal. Has it hit the, like, idol uh, era yet Where you, in that first bit? Like, when does it become an idol anime? Kind of. I mean, the <clears> whole <throat> point of it is, like, you know, Gundam is, like, they both kind of tell the same story about how, like, war is inevitable and it's really bad. But uh, Macross is, like, the answer to war is human war culture. Oh, <laughs> And singing and songs and the stuff. Basically, they defeat the they defeat the bad guys war. because they don't know what music and stuff is. Mm. So it's it's pretty nice. Uh, but I was I was feeling all nostalgic about it, you know, like it's classic anime. Uh, I know my dad used to watch Robotech, which was the uh, the start of the or it came from this. Mm-hmm. Uh, and nostalgia it me, is a hell of a drug, man. Nostalgia is a hell of a drug, and. Thinking back about being nostalgic and stuff, I I started thinking like, you know, when you're when you're little, when you're a little Ooh, kid, nice segue. When you're just a little guy or girl, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, what what did you guys want to be when you grew up? Well, this is like a classic question, right? And for me, the answer <laughs> is a little weird, and it's I really wanted to be a dinosaur. A paleontologist. Oh, I was close. <laughs> yes. I think everybody our age wanted to be a paleontologist, though. Jurassic Park was such a big thing. I think that might be part of it. Yeah, the Jurassic Park effect can't be understated. And then mm-hmm. I also, honestly, like, I don't really, other than that, I didn't really have any, like, aspirations. And I don't know if I even do now, like, of, like, what I want to be when I grow up as a 30-year-old man. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, definitely, like, I wanted to just, like, be Dr. Alan Grant from... Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> that was the goal. Alan. Goal is, yeah. Alan. The scene where you, he like, claws that kid with the v- v- raptor claw just, like, lives in my brain right for you. Jay, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, so when I was a kid, the first thing I, I mean, ever... I mean, yeah, when you were a kid. The first thing I wanted to be when I grew up was I wanted to be Spider-Man. Classic. <laughs> yep. How'd that work out for you? But, um, I was informed by, um, my lawyers, aka my parents... Uh, that that's not uh that's not a job. You can't be mm. Spider Man. You know um, what? Spider Man would beg to differ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's. I mean, to he's be honest, Spider Man's has... not doing too great. Yeah. I mean, in he, his personal life. Yeah. He also does work like a real job too. Yeah. 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 Um. He's a so as a kid, I asked, okay, what's the closest actual job to being Spider Man? 
And I'm answer, curious what you came up with. I'm really like, because I don't even know. Cole, what do you think he came up with? Well, uh, the, someone the, who studies spiders. I'm going to say a uh, gymnast. Okay, so uh, the answer my parents gave me when I asked the question was a police officer. Hmm, okay. Okay, yeah, so, that's, a, that's yeah. a good move by your yeah. parents. Yeah. yeah, so when I was a, a little wee lad, my, my dream was to be a police officer so I could be as close to Spider-Man as I possibly could. Police That's so man. cute. Yeah. And you know what, Jay? That checks out, too, because you are, like, someone who I believe follows the rules and, like, does what's correct all the time. So mm-hmm. you'd make, you make a good cop. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Jay, yeah. have I ever told you that that was, like, out of high school, that was my career path? Yeah. Mm-hmm. To, to be a police officer. I, I didn't know that. That's, I remember yeah, those days. Cool. Yeah. I didn't make it past the interview. Mm. Uh, Stage well, uh, maybe it's for the best. Uh, <laughs> too, too mentally unstable, but you passed too, the fitness test, didn't you? Uh, screw you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I did pass the fitness test. This was back in my your fit days. Skinny, that, that's skinny an impressive days. feat. That's not an easy yeah. test to pass. No, it was. I, hey, I did it just barely. I just yeah. barely passed it. Then, uh, but when I was when I was a little little wee lad, mm-hmm. uh, I wanted to be um, the first thing I remember wanting to be. I was one of those kids who would change constantly. I would mm-hmm. constantly be changing what I wanted to be. But I wanted to be a paramedic. I remember when I was oh. a kid. Uh, I had a toy ambulance, and I'm like, I want to be the guy in the ambulance. Did you want to be the driver or do you want to be the guy who rushes out and like saves the person? Well, I mean, when you're a kid, you're just like, I just want to be in the car, in the cool car with the <laughs> wee woo the on it. <laughs> Just make the wee woo sound go. Wee woo, wee woo, mm, wee woo, wee woo. Is um, that why you say every time that we say patron priority mailbag, you go wee woo, wee woo? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> when, when I grew up a little bit more like, uh, I feel you like you could become the ambulance. I could become the ambulance. <laughs> Uh, no, like when I was, I don't know, like maybe like 11 or 12, I, I thought I had this crazy idea. I'm like, I'm going to, I want to be a podcast host when I grow up. (laughs) Oh yeah. And how'd that work out for you? Oh, oh, look at me now. Look at me now, (laughs) dad. (laughs) Yeah. No, I'm, I'm kidding. No, I changed constantly. I remember I wanted to like, uh, uh, I don't even, I don't even know. There's a lot of stuff. That's like my path through university. It was like originally, I'm going to be a physicist. And then I got to the part of physics where you deal with imaginary numbers and like heavy duty calculus. And I was like, I am not cut out to be a physicist. <laughs> so then I said, I will be a chemist. And then I did the chemistry thing. And then I'm like, I'm kind of done with school. This has been a lot. I want any degree and then I'll get out of here. And that's what happened. I want any degree, and I yeah. want it now. Yeah. Um. That po- there was a point too where I wanted to like go on the radio. So I guess this is kind yeah. of. I yeah. I feel like you've kind of always had an, a, fa- a fascination with like talk radio. So I have truly. That kind of has like it. It checks out that you would start a podcast. Cool. You, yeah. you and I had a very similar uh, thought process there because out of high school I wanted to be a voice actor. Oh, nah, I, when I was too nervous to be like an actor, mm-hmm. I feel like now, like with, with my, uh, <laughs> with current, your credentials, no, Charisma. with my current, like, uh, uh, uh confidence level mm-hmm. uh, when I was in high school, I probably would have joined like the drama club or something like that. But you yeah. had a drama kind of, club in school. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we, we were like a, we had like 300 kids total in our school for like you seven didn't to 12. Have a drama no, you did not have a drama club. No. Okay. <laughs> our clubs were, were boring. We had, um, we had sports clubs or like the sports teams. Yeah. That's okay. it. And band. Standard. Sports teams and band. And that's it. Band wasn't a club. It was a class. Yeah. It was a band class. No, we yeah. didn't have a class. Dra- drama was like, you'd get a credit for being in drama. That's didn't true. You? Yeah. I think yeah. so. I never, I did it one I think I dropped it or something. I don't know. Your brother was the drama guy, which mm-hmm. checks out because he's very artistic. We dramatic. we had like yeah. musicals we'd put on every year. Um, yeah. And I was in yeah. one of them. I have a DVD Hosa, of it at home. We need to watch that and as a bonus episode. <laughs> uh, podcast that would actually be guest, so funny. Yes, it would be. Yeah. Podcast guest Nug Deep was uh, Tiny Tim, I remember, in uh, one of our, <laughs> our school's drama club productions. Speaking of Nug Deep, I'm surprised he hasn't stormed in the room yet to tell me to purchase Baldur's Gate 3. I know, he's been messaging, <laughs> trying to get me to... Because he bought it today, and of course, he's the type of guy who goes, like, heavy into things when he first gets them. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, he's trying to... 
persuade in his us. defense, yeah. though, that game does looks look, amazing. Yeah, yeah, incredible. You know, Jay, what else? you should get a PlayStation Five and then get Baldur's Gate Three. You know, you know what? I was getting a PC. Looks really good. Speaking of what? video games, tell me. Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door remake. Oh, nah. buddy, looks like yeah, really looks good. Nah, yeah, it looks. Uh, Cole didn't watch the direct. There's Cole, no way. Cole, watch the direct. No. no, watch this. You know what looks really, really good too, other than the remake of a GameCube game. Hmm. Uh, Final Fantasy VII remake on the PS5. Dude. I started. I started playing it today, and man, does that game. <laughs> Does that game look good or what? Holy crap. Yeah, wow, welcome. <laughs> welcome to like the 2019. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah. This has been... I, I've been very clear on the podcast. I live like three years behind in video gaming because I don't like paying full price for video games. And yeah, I've, I've this new game came out called Final Fantasy Remake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the internet explorer of like video gamers. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> but no, like it's it's... I was talking to uh, Devin in our Discord about it a little bit, and he was saying, like, or I think I said that, like, it captures, like, the essence of, like, when I first played Final Fantasy X, and I was like, holy mm-hmm. crap, this looks amazing. And then you mm-hmm. go back and look at it, and it just looks good for the time. Yeah. But, like, yeah. it definitely has, like, the wow, this is a cinematic, like, this is a Marvel. masterpiece. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, Marvel. Yeah. It's almost like a, like a tech demo of, like, what they can do. No, like it's incredible when they go from uh, cutscenes just seamlessly into gameplay and Mm -hmm. there's no difference in fidelity. Mm -hmm. Remember back in the day when like you would go from like the most uh, epic looking cutscene, then you'd go to the gameplay and just be a couple blocks. Yeah. 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 Final Fantasy seven. I'm looking at you. (laughs) Yeah. Pong. Yeah. Pong. (laughs) There's a reason why they made a remake of this game because Final Fantasy (laughs) seven. What? Bowling yeah. for soup? No, you know um, those bowling animations when you get like a strike? It's like <laughs> like those like CGs. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. I love the current like thing of them making that as like offensive as yeah. possible. <laughs> the strike animations. They make, them, yeah. they make them so bizarre sometimes. You're like, mm-hmm. well, who made this? It's great. It is great. <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, Mike, are you playing it in like uh, performance mode or in uh, graphics mode? I put it in graphics mode. Kicked her into graphics mode, bro. Yeah, bro. And uh, I haven't noticed any problems with like stuttering or anything. So mm-hmm. I, I that's probably leave it there. I did the same thing. And then at the end of the game, I switched it to performance mode to like bump up that frame rate. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Is- is it recommended? Is it better? Or? Uh, keep playing it like this, but then, like, I don't know. Put a few more hours in it and switch it over. It'll, like, hit you like a, like a freight train. Well, I'm, like, I'm assuming it goes, goes from 30 to 60 frames per second. It's probably... Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it goes but from... Like the, it's a massive difference. The, uh, the like, graphics barely change, because it's yeah. just incredible yeah. Yeah. to look at to begin with. Yeah, it really just goes from smooth to buttery smooth. Yeah, Ooh, from butter. yeah, buttery smooth. smooth like butter. No, <laughs> not a BTS fan. Stop it. No, stop. stop. Get some Get help. help. <laughs> uh, oh, what happened here? I don't know. This you're is... typing away on something. I have no yeah, idea what you're doing. I don't know. My show notes are are going crazy right now. Oh, it's all the the penis pictures I put in there. Oh, this oh, is a obviously. trashy episode, guys. We're reviewing <laughs> girlfriend, girlfriend. I even got the got the trash outfit on. We're ready to go. Uh, I think you mean peak. Peak fiction. <laughs> yeah, bruh. Look, man, yeah, I've bruh. never seen a show that 11 out of 10 before. Um, <laughs> I, think you, I, th- I think you guys might be in for something, because I, I hated this show, to be honest. <laughs> it's time for the mailbag. X for doubt is what I press when Cole says that. (laughs) Press X for doubt. We have two mailbag questions. You know the drill. We do this every week. Uh, Send in your mailbags and we may possibly, perhaps, potentially read them. We're not going to. We're going to paraphrase them. them. Don't tell them that, Jay. <laughs> no, we will. we will. Today, and like if you it. become a patron, you get your uh, your your mailbag question read first. Ooh, like yes, Super do. Mexi, go figure. He's always sending us patron priority mailbags. Uh, what is your favorite anime power system? And if our world had it, 
had to have one, which would you pick? Ooh. Yeah, power systems, power systems. I'll, I'll throw out uh, Jujutsu Kaisen's uh, Cursed Energy power system as mm-hmm. one for the second part of that. I, I do enjoy it, even though it confuses me a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's, it's sim- very similar to Nen when you kind of get down into it, because it's like very confusing and kind of not... It, it kind of is just like something that you just have to accept. Mm-hmm. And the nice thing about those two is that if you are just a normal person in the world, they really don't affect you at all. So like in the in the world of like Jujutsu Kaisen, the non-sorcerers like have no idea curse energy exists. They don't really know curses exist. They just think they're like natural disasters and stuff. So like mm-hmm. as yeah. far as we're concerned, like realistically, like the world could already have cursed energy and nothing would change right now. Like we're we're basically already there, right? So I'd... that shirt you're wearing right now, Mike, that's cursed energy. Flowing with cursed energy. Yeah. Beautiful, cursed my Jujutsu AF. sorcerer's robe. Beautiful blouse on yes. Michael. Today. Yes. Uh, Jay, what 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 say you? Um, I'd say my favorite uh, power system is stands. I just like they're so creative. It can be mm. basically anything, and it kind of yeah, has could, that like, hold same. Up a monitor. You could hold up like a desk. Yeah. You can have all kinds yeah. of stands. Yeah. yeah. Guitar stands. Guitar, Guitar stands. stands. This one's got six. Microphone yeah. stands. stands. Microphone stands. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's another guitar stand there. It's got nothing on it, though. <laughs> what kind of stands yeah. are you talking about, Jay? Oh, I was talking about the stands from JoJo's. You know. <laughs> oh, oh, those are good, too. The popular nah. series JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Mm, I've um, heard of that show. It's quite bizarre. And I think it's kind of similar to How um, Mike's take. If stands were in real life, like people wouldn't really know that they exist. Like, they mm-hmm. do things, but, like, you can't see it unless you have a stand yourself. You would mm-hmm. just be, like, very confused, right? Because there yeah. is a lot of stuff in JoJo's that happens where, like, the stands will interact with normal people and they just kind of, like, don't know what's going on. Yeah. But, like, you wouldn't know that it's, like, a stand ability. It would just be, like, some weird phenomena. Yeah. Um. At the same time, the only way to get a stand is to stab yourself with an arrow that could potentially kill you. So... Yeah, mm, it's nice. true. Give yeah. and take there. Give well, and take. you have to get stabbed like in the chest. Like, can't you just like get shoot yourself in the foot, like draft dodging style? Yeah, the but arrow? The, like the arrow still kills you if you aren't. Uh, oh, that's, that's like right. a side yeah. effect of it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you either get yeah. a stand or you die. You're right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I would die for sure. I would too. <laughs> Jay, what do you think? Jay's I'll, nothing if not overwhelmingly confident, so he I'll would I'll take live. the stand. <laughs> take the stand. Um, I'm going to go... Th- I've got a crazy pick here, boys. And hear me out. Okay, I'm hearing, I'm listening, I am attentive to what your crazy pick is. A crazy power system, honestly, that I find very fun, and I'll mm-hmm. tell you why in a moment, is My Hero Academia's, like, mm. quirk I feel system. like that's kind of a hot take, actually. Because I like how they always have, like, uh, here's my power, but this. Like, there's always, like, it's never just, like, all-encompassing power. Yeah. It's, like, there's, there's always, always a like, a, a drawback or a downside to it. Mm-hmm. So I, I just find it, it kind of, like, levels the playing field for, for uh, the power system. No one's system. busted. Nobody's mm-hmm. busted. I feel like that's that's a key to like a good power system is like not having someone busted and it's not just like infinitely Mm -hmm. there is like a a cap to it sort of because otherwise Mm -hmm. you end up with like the Dragon Ball Z effect where like Goku just keeps getting stronker and stronker Mm -hmm. and at the end it's like where does it end man Jake keeps like for the YouTube listeners Jake keeps grabbing a bite of a hot dog off screen and it's like really distracting no I'm dying over here how big how long is that hot dog he just keeps like dipping out for a quick bite and it's like (laughs) just just for everyone uh, who's not aware I'm dying (laughs) I'm dying over here yeah Jay has the coffee times yeah Yeah. Uh, but yeah you need a level cap on your power system. There's lots of good power systems. What's like your what would be like a bad power system? Would you guys say a bad power system? Well, one that just doesn't like make sense. You know, like it's just like kind of nonsense. Yeah, I'd say like Dragon uh, Ball. I was Nar- say Dragon Ball. <laughs> Naruto is kind of drives me nuts a little bit. It's yeah, like, a little bit. The ninjutsu. Oh, like, where does the power actually come from? It's just like yeah. you got to make these hand signs. 
and like the sometimes there's know. technology sometimes there's not sometimes things are like jutsu sometimes they're not sometimes there's no real i, I don't understand it i don't mm-hmm. think it's ever been explained either so i've mastered my favorite jutsu do you guys want to see it yeah let's see it right now hey there you go the old bird <laughs> i bird called jutsu. it i called yeah. it yeah i know bird jutsu yeah. or that one uh <laughs> what's the what's uh the one the Oh, the one where he shoves his fingers in the, the yeah, bum? Yeah, I can't remember what it's called, though. Uh, a thousand Years of Pain or something I wanted like to say, that. Yeah, I want to say Cabe Don, but isn't that where they, like, slam people against the wall? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's no, where I you, re- like, trap someone against a wall with, yeah. by, like, putting your hand. Yeah. Yes. It's an no, onomatopoeia. That... Fun fact. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Look at Jay with the fun facts. Look at Jay with the big in, words. Is there a Cabe Don in uh, Girlfriend Girlfriend? I don't think so. Uh, no, no, no unless, like, you, unless you count it as, uh, my boy grabbing them by the shoulders. That's his move. He that loves is his move. He does that, that a lot. Move. Yeah, that's kind of his thing. Mm-hmm. It's kind of his thing. And, and then yelling at the them. business and yelling. And all, and he, yeah, we'll get there. We'll, we'll get, get there. To it. We'll get into it. What do you guys <laughs> yeah. say we go on, we get into our regular mailbag question from Ooh. Devin this week. Okay. Uh, do you have an anime where the OP is banging, but the anime itself is meh? Or hmm. bad. Uh, from la- last season, I watched... Uh, uh, what's it called? Mm-hmm. That was a good one. <sighs> Magical Destroyers. OP, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Both great. Yep. Awesome. You, you, they're very, like, very interesting to listen to and, like, very fun. Mm-hmm. Not only really something you put on to, like, groove to it, maybe, but, like, the anime itself was, like, very 7 out of 10, which yeah. is kind of meh yeah. in my books. Yeah. So that'd probably be the first one that comes to mind. Uh, yeah. Um, Even Galleon has a banging OP. Yeah, kind of mid though. <laughs> that was just my, a piss off Cole. My co-hosts are mid. <laughs> um, the legendary hero is dead. I would say has oh, like a really banging yeah. OP, but like the show's just kind of whatever. Hmm. I don't know. I'm I'm struggling to like think of anything off the top of my head. You know, it's, I haven't uh, watched Domestic Girlfriend, but man, does that have an awesome OP? Yeah, that OP slaps. <laughs> Uh, what about like, uh, Fate Unlimited Blade Works? Well, Jace, 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 Jace took two bites of his hot dog. That yeah, time. whoa, he's so <laughs> mad. Are you saying that? Uh, are you saying that the OP's good and the show's yeah. bad? No, I would never. Hello. <laughs> uh, no, I. I See, I pick out this question and then I don't even like have an answer for it. That's uh, fine. S- so why don't you guys uh, uh, ramble while I quickly scroll through my anime list? I mean, just r- mm-hmm. randomly come yeah, up yeah. with something off yeah, the top sure. of my head. Yeah, sure. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Words, if words, ramble, words. Rambling. Uh, peas and carrots. Peas and carrots. <laughs> uh, <sighs> mm. Oh, we're supposed to ramble, Jay. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like honestly, I just feel like most meh anime have mm-hmm. a meh op to match it's pretty yeah. rare you get one that has like a really great op it probably mm-hmm. uh, another one that comes to mind quickly is uh what's the one with the the ancient uh guy who like he's like an ancient military strategist and he comes mm. and he like makes that girl a pop star Ya boy kong ming yeah boy kong ming yeah, that's that probably a really good answer yeah because like i as hype as it's all those shows that have like a really awesome op and like a really interesting premise and then kind of like die out after yeah. like three episodes because they kind of only have the one thing going for them in a cool op that's probably my answer to be honest as well like that's yeah. Uh, yeah, the show was kind of mid. I don't. I think I dropped it. Like I didn't even finish it. No, I don't think uh, I, I didn't finish it either. But the OP was such a, such a bop. Yeah, such an absolute. I haven't even certified watched it, but bop. Yeah, the OP is good. Oh, was- uh, what about uh, 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 that show that also came out? It was a remake of an old show. Oh, uh, Urusei Yatsura. Urusei Yatsura. Mm-hmm. Oh, Great yeah. OP. Yeah. Great OP. Yeah, Love the first OP. one's good. The second one's kind of mid. I haven't even seen the second one. I, I, mean, I don't want I to. I don't think I made it to the second one. <laughs> I don't, I I don't want to see the second uh, one. It's v- kind of mid. Well, yeah. I'll yeah. take your word for it because I'm not um, even going to bother. I'm trying to think of more. There was one that came to mind, then it just went poof. Just went zing zam. Uh, 
There's quite a few. Yeah. What What about like Chainsaw Man? Yeah, Chainsaw Man's got a good OP. Kind of mid though. Get mid. real, you fools. What about uh, What about Sword Art Online? Honestly, Sao, SAO the, has amazing OPs, but yeah, it is a little mid. I, yeah, oh, bold take. Yeah, bold. I'm a I'm a spicy boy. You know how it goes. I made some spicy chili today. How spicy uh, was it? It was pretty spicy. It's pretty spicy. I definitely was had it, to... Was it like the tsundere of chilies? It was quite... You know what? It actually was because I I didn't... It's one of those ones where like you you think it's not it's not that spicy and then it slowly creeps up on you the more you eat the bowl. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, mm-hmm. I, I thought it'd be like it's spicy up front and then as the flavor lingers, it becomes like sweeter in your mouth. Ooh, Sweet yes. and tender. Oh, oh. Good, a good one for uh, great OP, not Okay, great no, I mean, I had a great segue. Like, yeah, that was a fantastic right, segue. Right. But no, continue, please. Yeah, last one I'll say is Fire Force. <laughs> Has, like, an all-time oh, OP. Yeah. But, like, the show itself Some is of pretty, them are good. pretty lame. Well, the yeah. first one. Is the first really one's the one I'm talking about. The first one's yeah. mid. That's just, that's, that's, that's a contrarian coming out in Jay. Yeah, Jay, for that take, you got to tell us who your Sundere for this yeah, week is. Our final answer. round of Sundere's. My Sundere is from a popular harem manga that mm. we did not review this week, but um, it's from a show that I know Cole's seen. I don't know if uh-huh. Mike's seen it. Me? Certainly not. It's called Nisekoi. Oh. oh yes i've been um, wanting to watch that show for a long time my pick is chitoge mm-hmm. very good checks mm-hmm. out checks very out good. big old big old thing in her hair big old ribbon big old bow mm-hmm. big old ribbon in her hair mike who's your sundere for this week oh okay i'm up next now listen you sure boys. Are. i declared to you that i have a wild sundere for this week Mm-hmm. Yes, and I did. want you to guess it. I'm going to give you some hints here. Okay, okay. First of all, their show came out in the '90s. Okay, early '90s. Okay, they are known for wearing a lot of blue, which is uncharacteristic for a Sundre. They have black hair. Okay, they're very powerful. They're male. Their hair, they have the biggest widow's peak known to man. Oh! Vegeta? <laughs> it's Vegeta. Oh my god, how Think is Think about nobody... it, though. That is very good tsundere. Yeah. He is a tsundere. Like, yeah, I, I absolutely. Just quickly, I looked up a list, and I was like, oh my god, Vegeta's a tsundere. And it's yeah. like, he has literally every trait. He is yeah. a great yeah. tsundere. Yeah. Tsundere. Beautiful. Yes. I love it. Vegeta, Prince of the Saiyans, is my tsundere. And very good. Cole, Whomst is yours? I have one. It's from uh, a fun manga slash anime called One Punch Man. Okay. Does okay. anybody know? Is it I, Saitama? You know what? I, I don't know One Punch Man really at all. Oh, so. It's Tatsumaki. Come on. Ooh. Classic Sundere. Little, little, little adult girl. Lost child. Oh, the oh, lost child. Sass, yes. Sassy Little, lost child. Sassy, who's the sassy lost child? Green hair, right? Black dress. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Tornado. Really strong. Tornado. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very strong. Yeah. Uh, I'm going with her. So uh, hopefully it's not like a battle of, of uh, a battle. Yes. I don't think it is. I think we've discussed what this will be. I and find think out so too. in a few weeks because I don't think we'll have it coming up next week. Uh, but, no, next week is uh, seasonal preview, I think. Seasonal preview, yeah. Our yes. draft. Ooh, I wonder yes. who won. Find out next week on Dragon Ball Z. Uh, why don't no, we get some show, hints wrong for... Wrong show, wrong show. Wrong show, oh. this, this is the anime uh, Dragon Ball GT. Um, what about... Uh, because we're doing a review, mm-hmm. that oh, means yeah. our next review will be a listener's choice review. Yeah. So mm-hmm. each of us have to select a show. Jay's having a bite of his hot dog. Mm-hmm. And extra I, mustard. Extra mustard. Jay, you got some hot. You got some mustard. Shit, on your face. I got mayo on my face. Oh, oh, oh! oh what a reference. <laughs> um, let's let's give some hints and then see if okay. people can okay. guess it before the end yeah. of the episode. Okay, okay. We're gonna uh, we'll go in the same end. order. Yeah. yeah, we'll reveal okay. the shows at the end of the episode, and the voting will begin. Uh, Jay, yes, give your hints, please. Okay, this show is from 2010. Okay, it is a 12 episode show. Okay. By Studio Madhouse, based on a manga. 
and it's on high dive. <laughs> Jay's getting emotional. Yep. <laughs> uh, Mike, why don't you uh, why don't you run run through your hands? Do you have anything else to say, Jay? Between bites of your hot dog? Uh, nope. That's it. Figure your it out at the end. Hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Figure it out when I tell you what the answer is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mine is an older pick. It is an OVA done by Studio Madhouse based off of a light novel. It is uh, 13 episodes. It is rated 17 plus. And it is a fantasy anime famously based off a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Cole, what is yours? Uh, it's my turn now. I am picking a 12 episode anime from 2017 okay. and I'm breaking the cycle. Uh, this is from studio feel. Mm. Okay. Uh, that cuts things down quite a bit. That does cut things down quite a bit. So I'm going to finish my, uh, hints there. That's all of the hints you're getting. No. Mm. Yeah. Find out at the end of the episode, what shows we will make you all vote for. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think Jay's got to go like boil another <laughs> another six foot long hot dog. Yeah. Uh, Mike's got to go. I don't know. I think find I go a chop a couple darts in the parking lot. You know. Yeah, go find a new I hat. Think the thing yeah. that sucks the most is bef- up until we went went to. Up until we started recording, I <laughs> didn't have to up. cough. And then the moment we record, this happens. It's because you're I'm, talking. It's because you're talking. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. You, you should probably go, haven't talked all day. Go make a nice cup of tea. Ooh, that sounds good. S- yeah. Go gargle some throat. salt water. Go drink some salt water. Go drink like, some sugar in go water. Tr- <laughs> go drink some salty water with like maybe like the aroma of like a hot dog in it. <laughs> So like, go drink some hot dog tea out there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Put some honey in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's. Uh, but let's until all then. Go... Until then. What? Let's let's take go... it away, Jay. Yeah. Let's go. Take for it a... away. Let's go for a. <laughs> um... Program. Uh, I hope Mike and Jay like this show as much as Mike is enjoying that Picari sweat. Um, just to run over our review structure, as we usually do, we try to keep our reviews uh, spoiler free uh, up to a certain point. We do provide a spoiler warning, so if you haven't watched the show, uh, you can rest easy knowing that we are not going to be spoiling this for you. Um, that being said, I probably wouldn't care too much about this show. <laughs> this one, they all they all die yeah, at the end. There you go. Yeah, there, yeah, you don't need. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> oh no! no I'm Whoa. <laughs> uh, we review it. We talk about the uh, the OP, the ED, the acting, the characters, stuff like that, uh, and then we give our rating, and then we go into spoiler warning where we uh, do a <laughs> plot deeper dive. Not much here to. Uh, <laughs> To dive into the like plot wise. You can dive into like, a kiddie pool. It's just not very fun. Yeah. Yeah. I feel um, like this spoiler section will be more um uh be more akin to our guilty crown discussion where it's yeah, just us. it's probably gonna be a, a lot of a lot of yelling, a yeah. lot of shouting. Uh Which but I it's think time, it's fun in its own way. It's time for our favorite part of our reviews where we guess what we thought of the show. Ah, uh, yes. let me let me begin. By saying mm-hmm. that Jay, mm-hmm. Jay, I think had a fun time with this show. I think yeah. he, Jay, Jay, sometimes he likes watching trash, mm-hmm. and I think he had a good time watching this. Mike, though, I think he found all of the characters super annoying, 
And he's wrong for that. I don't think Mike liked this show very much. Uh, Mike, what do you think we thought of it? I think you both really enjoyed this show. I think Jay probably maybe didn't think it was the best version of this show that exists. Like, because there's, I don't know, this is like your typical silly little romance. But yeah, I think Cole really had a fun time. And I think Jay enjoyed it, but it's not going to be like one of his favorites. Jay, what do you think about me and Coley boy over uh, there? Cole loved it. Um, he said before the podcast, um, boys, I had a, I had a delight watching this show. Um, so, uh, I know Cole liked it. And Mike, I think it just wasn't his cup of tea. Just wasn't Mike's cup of tea. Well, let me tell you whose cup of tea it was. Yours? Yours? It was my cup of tea. Oh, I yeah. Had a, oh, yeah. I had a smile on my face watching this show. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so ridiculous. Naoya is an absolute... Just, dingus? Like, just a dingus. He's just, like, honest to, like... He is the definition of honesty to a fault. Yeah. He's just so upfront about everything, and it's so dumb. And he's he's just he's shouting all the time. Yeah, I it's said to myself so while I was watching the show, you need negative five brain cells to watch this show. Oh, yeah. yeah or, it, or just be able to, like, reduce your brain capacity to yeah. that. You no, know, I think that this show, like, as soon as you... It wasn't immediately apparent to me, but, like, it becomes pretty clear after a couple episodes that this is, like, almost satire. Mm-hmm. Like, it's <laughs> it, it doesn't mm-hmm. take itself seriously. Yeah, that's and why I like you realize that it kind of improves it a bit. That's why I like yeah. this show because it's so, like the whole plot is. Oh, uh, well, speaking of plot, why don't I? Why don't I? I was uh, gonna say, do you want to explain what the show's even about? Read for the our synopsis. Listeners? Well, yeah. uh, we got our boy. We got our boy Nalia. And Nalia is just a nice, nice, good old, honest, honest boy. And he's he just recently started going out with his childhood crush and childhood friend, whose name is Saki Saki, which I love. First name Saki, last her, name. Saki. Her last name's also Saki. Yeah, because mm-hmm. nice. yeah. her par- her parents named her Saki Saki because they thought it would be funny. There was a little like aside and oh really? Yeah, uh, and the he's... best name reason to name your kid something because it's as yeah. a joke. <laughs> yeah, so uh, they're they're all nice and 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 lovey dovey. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then this other girl Nagisa mm-hmm. confesses to Naoya. Oh and no. She's, oh no, and she is oh such, my goodness. She what? is such a good girl. That he can't t- bring himself to deny or de- to decline her. her to reject her. Thank you, Jay. Yeah. Uh, whatever so will he do in this Whatever will he do? Well, why don't we why don't we crank Naoya's honesty level up to a million and say, <laughs> I don't want to not date you. Why don't I date both of you? <gasps> he's gonna date these two girls at the same time behind their backs? <laughs> no, he's not. He's, he's literally too honest go- for that. <laughs> he's too honest for that. He's gonna go ask his existing girlfriend if With he can the date other girl. both of them. Yes. And not just ask her, but say, like, she's too attractive for me to not date her. <laughs> yeah, but Saki agrees. Yeah. She is too cute. And yes, Saki Saki is. Uh, Wait, it keeps going. So uh, he says. <laughs> no, 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 um, no, no. Well, well, OK, OK. I don't want I don't yeah. want you to bring in bring in more this characters. All, yet. No, 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 no I'm not bringing the, I'm not bringing the characters. Yeah. Okay. But like, um, so he says, OK, how are we going to three time? And he goes, I know. Why don't you come live with me? Yes. So they're all yes. living together in this house. Yes. And with apparently the he owns because he says at the beginning of the show, he doesn't live with his parents. No, yeah. I think his parents just get, like have that house for him. He has a full-on like two-story house in yeah. Tokyo mm-hmm. by himself as like a fourteen-year-old. What is going on in, in this person? This guy is the one percenter for sure. He's a one percenter. <laughs> he's got two girlfriends. Yeah, this guy's I living mean, the dream. Yeah, he's living the dream. Um, yeah, this this show is so outrageous. I, I, I. I like yeah, you have to like be able to like shut your brain off when you watch mm-hmm. this because it's so over the top, and that's that's its charm. Um, that yeah, I mean, like it's it's insane, it's ridiculous. It, yeah, I feel like if that absurd humor isn't your thing, you're probably not gonna like this show. Because like mm-hmm. that, yeah, I would that's agree. kind of that's kind of what attracts people to it. Like, um. The romance is decent, but like 
it I would adds, even say below average, honestly. Yeah, I like wouldn't the, say the, the romance, romance is that crazy. Yeah. yeah, the romance isn't the selling feature. The no. the crazy like honestly and, like <laughs> the the big key to this show is just the premise. Like yeah. it's just yeah. How how are these characters going to make this relationship work? Mm -hmm. And then there's more hijinks and more uh, things that happen later on through the series. Yeah, and it's not even like that dense with <laughs> with that idea. Like it wears it on its sleeve. Mm -hmm. No, that's why I, I like Jay and I always have the argument about this versus like Rent a Girlfriend, two shows. Mm -hmm two masterpieces with the word girlfriend in it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's my, that's my difference between these shows is that like rent a girlfriend will try. It'll like try to like pull on your heartstrings yeah. and like, yeah. but this show, no, it's, it's not even trying. It knows it's exactly like, what it is. It knows exactly what it is. It's, it's, it's very upfront with its absurdity and its characters just yelling. Like I said, now his move is to just grab somebody by the shoulders and just mm -hmm. yell at them about how they're like, you gotta stop being <laughs> guy has like, when he's building his character in like elder scrolls or something, he has zero awareness. This guy, he no zero awareness, but like zero, I don't know, shame. Honest, zero shame, maximum honesty. Yeah, and yeah. and he's lovable for it. I think. I think he's 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 just a. They're all lovable in their own I, way. I don't know if I agree with that. I <laughs> I think he's like as milk toast as a character could possibly be, and it it's so milk toast. In fact, that I pers I went out because I noticed that his he wasn't on like any of the promo art for this show. Mm -hmm. well, like, why would he? Why would he be right? And mm -hmm. then I went and looked, and he's not on any of the manga volumes or anything. He's literally like for if you did not watch this show, you would not know he exists. No, yeah, but I mean, yeah. a character he's so like, forgettable. Design wise, sure, yeah, he's pretty forgettable. But I definitely wouldn't say character wise and writing wise that he's forgettable. The guy is like, the guy went and asked his existing girlfriend if he could date two girls. Yeah, he's that got, is not forgettable. He's got no. I meant more like, yeah, maybe the design is what I was thinking of, mm -hmm. and like his mm -hmm. personality is basically just like I'm a good and honest guy, mm -hmm. and then I don't really think about things that I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And he just kind of yeah. does stuff. He's very impulsive. And I get what you're saying, but I did not personally enjoy him as a character, really. Like, he just did not tickle my jimmies. Again, I think that, like, it depends on uh, your taste there. Like, if, if this kind of comedy is what you enjoy, then you'll like mm -hmm. the show. If yeah. you don't, then there's nothing really here for you. And And that'll be the running theme for me, I think, is that it just, like missed the mark on the comedy for me and just mm -hmm. the characters weren't too compelling and i didn't really it just didn't vibe with me so like that, yeah. that is kind of how i ended up partaking in this show and now you guys can resume gushing over it okay well no it's it's I, my following question is a very important one specifically for michael michael did you watch this subbed or dubbed i partook in this anime on crunchy roll Mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the dubbed format uh mm. i am sorry to hear that because honestly dub. the voice acting in this is also what makes it i've heard uh, that the voice acting in the sub is like next level naya and, I, and saki saki are like oh yeah i They're love really good i and uh uh sakura that's her name uh yeah i and sakura she's she's so good as saki Oh. Yeah, but do you get hilarious lines in the sub like "monogamy is poggers"? No, that's why I hate it. <laughs> that's hilarious. That I was tried, the funny, one of the funniest things in the show to me. I tried switching uh, for one scene back to uh, uh, the dub, and mm -hmm. it was uh, it was the scene where Saki, of course, was talking about her small boobies. Because <laughs> which, which time? That's what she does, and she she yeah. says like. Uh, do you not like me because of my itty bitty titties? It's like, oh God, who wrote that's, this? That's, that's so one of my, stupid. Next time yeah. that we get a, a mailbag where it's like, what are your least favorite tropes? Remind me of that one because I hate the girls. Like, it's clearly like this does not happen as much in real life, but they just like for some reason in anime, girls are obsessed with other girls' boobs. Mm -hmm. And it's just well, maybe wait, they you are. mean that's not that's not, I'm a, not thing a girl. In real life? Maybe girls are obsessed maybe with they are. girls. I don't know, but I don't think also, they're going out and like grabbing them and stuff uh, well i seems... think i think saki kind of plays for both both teams without yeah, she's, realizing yeah. she's, de she's definitely got some bi bisexual tendencies there mm -hmm. yeah she just doesn't realize it yet 
Yeah, she's not she's not going out and grabbing boobs out of uh, curiosity. She's she's doing it because she wants to. She knows yeah. what she wants. Well, she, she knows what kinda, she wants, and she's going for it. In the first yeah. episode, when they first introduce uh, Blueberry Girl, there, what's her name? Nagisa. Nagisa, yeah. Basically, like before Naoya can even open his big dumb mouth, he, she like grabs her and like runs away. She's like, she's so cute. I have to basically like, and then she's like, oh, I I could see why someone would want to date you. You're really mm-hmm. awesome. And then she's yeah, like, can if I, I was marry you. Girl, yeah, actually, like, even in that episode, I think she says, like, if I was into girls, I'd be into you type thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, boy, is she in luck because she's about to be in a relationship with her. Uh, mm-hmm. What's the public opinion of the show? I don't even know. I just love this show so much. I don't even care what other people say. <laughs> I, I would say that your guys is I, I watched a bunch of like YouTube reviews and like a bunch read a bunch of reviews is like I usually do for these. Mm-hmm. And I would say that the general consensus is like kind of along your guys is where like you admit that it's not like technically the good show and maybe not like the best show, but it's like a damn fun show. Yeah, is what I would say is the general it's, consensus, but it's, it's like a six, fun. 62 or 68, 63 on Annie list. So I'd say that that's probably fair. What yeah. uh, do you have any of those reviews there, Michael? Oh, I do. Uh, yeah, this we did this before where we actually read out just like the titles because they on Annie list. They let you put like a little blurb as like the title for the review. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is by far the ugliest, dumbest, worst drawn and funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I yeah. wouldn't say it's ugly. That's valid. I, That's valid. No, I actually like the the art style in it. I was actually one of the, one of the things I was doing while I was watching it was like I like the character designs for the girls in this. Mm-hmm. Like everybody's very unique in terms of like the four girls, the four main girls in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, they all have like their color palette and their uh, design features yeah. going on. They're all uh, like other than being like okay, yeah, all four of them are cute. Sure, character wise. I, I would say that it's fair like it is a flashy show and it does have lots of style to it mm-hmm. but I think it's fair to say that the animation is lacking and they cover, the animation it, they is cover lacking. it up they cover up the poor animation the poor arts and stuff in times mm-hmm. with like really flashy like backgrounds and stuff which yes. kind of distract you from it there's lots of like speed lines and like mm-hmm. really like bombastic colors and you're kind of like forget yeah. that you're looking at something that's maybe not that great i think i think that th- something that this show does kind of works against that though like there's there are these sometimes where like you'll have that like um echo of a character overlapping with the character and it looks very very weird like, yeah i noticed that too like yeah. the shock the, whenever yeah. they're like oh yeah and then like there's like no yeah i wouldn't say that the art in this is great i'm it's honestly it's the character designs that i like in this show Mm -hmm. uh and just the fact that they all like have their unique palettes and their unique character designs all the background characters are all super generic why doesn't anybody else in their class have different colored bows like the all of the main (laughs) girls do because that's that's how you know who's going to be important to the story cole it's like who's your favorite ninja turtle the four of them are like your uh, are like the ninja turtles jay gets that reference yeah he gets it i do the the only complaint i have about like the the character designs in this is like they're they're actually great character designs Mm -hmm. but it's because they are basically like cookie cutter character designs like i feel like you could find a different character honestly like you could literally just go to rent a girlfriend and just basically compare one to one and like they're basically the same like there's not that much they're good because they're tried and true they didn't do anything bold here other than you know what was a bold choice was giving Mm -hmm. uh the youtuber girl not just one fang but two fangs. Double fang. I did appreciate that. I will say she had two fangs, mm-hmm. and it, Double it, fang. it did add to it quite a bit. Double fang, twin tails. Mm-hmm. She's uh, on YouTube. Next review is: Please, for the love of God, don't watch this anime. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, one, Michael. The next one is hope. That one's by me. Uh, the next one's hopeless romantics, hopeless show. And the next one, I I think that one's kind of semi positive. Uh, the lo- next one is either you will love it or hate it. Kanajo Mo Kanajo never disappointed me as a comedy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Great. I'm not, I, listen, I'm not going into this for like the realist. No, no, no. Realism. Yeah, you're not. In... You're never walking out of this going like, this changed my life. Yes. Right? Wow. What a deep, what a meaningful, deep, meaningful message. Yeah. At its heart, it's a silly <clears throat> that show. That this right? show has. Um, but at the same time, if they're both, if they're all okay with the fact that this guy is seeing more than one girl, then what's the problem? 
Yep. What's the problem? He Which doesn't is- want to see any more girls, though. He only wants to see the yeah, two. Because yeah, two. if he was if he was seeing three girls, that would be weird. That's too much. That, you, That's yeah. too much. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> last two. Last two I have here are Girlfriend. Girlfriend is one of the most underrated subversive series I've ever watched, and over the top absurdist spin on the harem genre that's equal parts hilarious and cringeworthy i like that yes. last one actually that, that i like that last one because it's it's true it's it's basically taking your harem like what's the difference between this and kirito right what's the difference between naoya and kirito naoya is actually interesting naoya is actually. i mean <laughs> naoya wrong, is more man. interesting it's more interesting than kirito uh, not uh, yeah that's a battle of who's the least interesting which of these person. white which of these plain white toasts is more interesting mm-hmm. yeah. but no now yeah now yeah is, has got the the confidence and the yes the honesty the I honesty don't even know if it's to confidence. pursue to pursue all all the girls because is it co- is it confidence if you're like you don't even think of like this is probably a bad thing to say is that confidence or is that just like not being aware that this is a no bad honestly thing he's just dumb he's just really he's just dumb. dumb all these yeah. characters are just super dumb yeah, he, honestly, he, every single character except Grey Hair Girl is super dumb in this show. Well, give her time. Yeah, give oh. her time. Oh, no. That's, that's the manga knows. readers coming out. I know. We both know. We both know. Yeah. Uh, yeah and honestly, and- like, that makes sense because it's by the creator of Aho Girl, which is about a dumb girl. Is so, it? Like, cool. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. The, so, Aho Girl um, is about a dumb girl that loves bananas. That's the whole nice i i know yeah. of that show i just didn't realize it was Cole the same that uh, show. yeah no i've never watched it but maybe yeah. i will now Now i will now, um, mike it sounds I, wait, like wait okay, okay i have one more cool fact since jay brought up the creator did you do you want to know why this show was created or this manga was created uh, uh because he wanted to create a story about uh a guy where all the girls in the harem wins thank you for stealing my thunder jay <laughs> uh, <laughs> you asked if i knew and yes. i do of Jay knows, knows all the yeah, trivia. <laughs> anyway, similar, he left out one important part there. The creator was reading quintessential quintuplets and he was talking with his editor. Yes. He's like, you know, it's stupid how like everyone, they always pick one. And the guy's like, well, why don't you just make one where they pick more than one? Yeah. And he's like, you might Genius. be onto something, partner. <laughs> Genius. I'm going to, I'm going to write this manga and then I'm going to have the two best quints play voices in this show. And those quints were... Wait, Miku's in this show? No. Uh, Yotsuba. In show? Oh. Yotsuba and Nino. Nino oh, Nino's, is... Nino's uh, net best girl, yeah. Nino is net best girl. Which, yeah, we can all agree if, on Nino. If, um, for those of you who don't know what that means, the three of us have come to a conclusion that Nino is either someone's best or second best girl. And because of that, if you, add, if you put it all together... She's the net best girl. Yeah, on mm-hmm. average, she's yeah. best girl, I would yeah. say. Mm-hmm. Other than maybe Miku. Miku, I think, is technically more popular. Yeah, well, I don't even know. Like, to be honest, people either love Miku or hate her. It's true. Well, Whereas, I don't I think, hate Miku. I don't, know if I don't hate has, any of the Quints. Does anyone have negative feelings towards Nino? I don't think so. Uh, I think I wouldn't want to meet that person. Yeah. I think some people do because they went up to the like stuff she does at the very beginning and just go, nope, that's it. I'm done. Mm. Mm. Well, Should we save that it. for the quintessential quintuplets review, though? Oh, I can't wait to do that one. Yeah. And just get ready to listen to us giggle like schoolgirls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, what would you change in this show, Michael, seeing as you hated it so much? <laughs> Uh, you know what? The, the big thing that I kind of thought didn't really sell me on the show. Mm. It, so the premise is fun, right? The yeah, characters, mm-hmm. sure, they're kind of bland and like your cookie cutter, like harem romance show characters with like a little bit of a twist and enough to keep it kind of interesting. The thing that I kind of really like lost me a lot on this show was it it just kind of dragged on a little too long with each of its like little gags it does. Mm. Like, I don't know if I needed... Was it like two whole episodes of a uh, YouTuber girl camping outside their house or like, or was it even three episodes? I don't know. Like it just, it just seemed like it took a joke and it would just continually, it's like that when you know when your friend like says a joke and you're like, oh, that's great the first time. The second time it's like, oh, that's funny. And then the third time you're like, okay, I get it already. That's kind of how I felt watching this show a little bit. And I, 
it's not a bad show by any means, but I would definitely maybe make it a bit snappier. I'd, I'd maybe mm. cut the runtime down, maybe an episode or just like include a little more. I don't know how what happens immediately after this in the manga, but it just seemed like it was... They all die. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, they all die. But yeah, it, it just seemed like it kind of was like... I don't, I don't know if padded is the right word, but maybe paced a little slow for what it is. Okay. So Mike wants to nuke this show. Mike hated it. Mike hated it. Got it. <laughs> you guys are so sensitive. <laughs> I am I am hurt. No, personally. honestly, like I do I do get where you're coming from. Um I didn't personally see that issue, but like I do get that like if the joke's not landing and it just keeps dragging on, then you can be a bit bored of it. Mm -hmm. that's that's kind of how i feel like usually like the first time they said it or like the, when it mm -hmm. the jerk joke first happened i'd be like oh okay that's funny yeah and then like it would just like oh the same joke is continuing for the rest of this episode and then, mm -hmm. then it's kind of like yeah yeah kind of just like tune out a little bit yeah yeah I, uh, can what we all you guys just change what would i change absolutely yeah. nothing <laughs> no i <laughs> Um, what would I change to make this, right? this show better? Even the best uh, anime have things you'd change. Well, I mean, I would like, honestly, yeah, I would like to see maybe some smoother animation. But I mean, you're not watching a show like this for for the animation portion they, of it. They did yeah. pretty good for what they had. I'm sure, like, they kind of basically salvaged it with all like the snappy bright colors and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know to be. <sighs> Yeah, maybe maybe you're right in that sense of of maybe making it a bit quicker because there's really like three three or four major things that happen in the show, and it's split up over like four. There's like yeah, like twelve three, episodes. There's really like three arcs, excluding like the intro, like the the setup, mm -hmm. and it's twelve episodes long. Like that means the three episodes per arc, and the arcs are just like yeah, they're not very like. Not very deep, partner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess if if they had like adapted a bit further, maybe maybe they felt like we know that because where they ended it probably feels like a proper ending to the yeah. show. Yeah, like season two is coming out, and I don't really know if I feel the does need to watch it. I might watch it just on a a lark, you know. But yeah, just on a whim. Maybe yeah. maybe season two is just incredible, Mike. Maybe Could it be. comes Could out be. and you're like, oh my god, this is how it did they do this? Like, it gets like super deep and like there's yeah. just like a ton of like well, like you a know, completely what? revamped show. You've kind of teased me a little bit, and I don't want to reveal too much about who my best girl is. But if there's more development coming with them, then I might mm -hmm. be interested. Well, I know, I know, I kind of figured who I, your best girl was. I have girl a feeling was. I know who Mike's best girl and, is. And I mean, she actually becomes a character and moving on, whereas yeah. in this, in the first season, she's, I don't really even know why she's in like the advertising material and like the OP and stuff. Yeah, yeah. she's not, <coughs> she's not really. Jesus. A, <laughs> I know. Lord, finish that hot dog. <laughs> she's what, not really a character in this show. Yeah. Well, well, in this season, like till the end but yeah we'll talk yeah yeah, yeah. she becomes yeah a, yeah she's kind of just like a background character but mm -hmm. uh speaking of the op or uh, jay jay i'm sorry i kind of went over you what would you change in this show seeing as you hated it so much yeah so i absolutely despise this show so honestly i just completely gut everything and mm. change it so one girl wins and make mm. it make her name like chizuru and yeah. uh, have the main character be like <laughs> Way more her. perverted, and he rents yeah, her. Yeah, like a little yeah. bit perverted, but he rents her instead no, not of a little like. Bit. <laughs> Say what you will, now yeah, now yeah can keep it in his pants. He Almost just, to uh... his detriment, honestly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to his detriment. <laughs> to his detriment. Yeah, there's literally yeah. an arc about how he is about how that is a problem. That mm -hmm. is, yeah. Mm -hmm. He oh, literally swears, uh, swears off. Stuff. What about the OP, Jay? I actually really do like this OP. Like it, it, to to like a very strange degree. Um, I really like this OP. Yeah. I love the song in it. I I find it's I like these these songs where like the singer has like a very unusual voice. Like she's mm -hmm. got a very like anime voice. Yeah. And I wonder if it's like one of the the voice actors who sings it. I 
Uh, I don't know. If yeah, this I'm not is like sure. Her band or something like that. It, it could be. I do really like the like triangle motif because the high, triangle it's a motif. Because it's, it's, it's a low triangle. Get it? Get it? It's funny. Get it, Michael? Get I it, do. Michael? Do. do you get it? No, oh, he can't hear us. He can't hear Maybe us. Maybe he can though. I don't know. Yeah. Um, no, I I really like the OP, and again, it just solidifies like the color the color palette of each of the girls, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Saki's got like her magenta. Nagisa's got her blue. Uh, Milika, the yellow, and then uh, whatever her name is. Uh, what's her name? Which one? The, the other one. The other white meat. Uh, Shino. Shino. Shino yes. With her the friend. The friend. The friend who is barely in the show. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I like. Honestly, I like the OP and the ED. The ED is a bit. It's a little more, a little more fan servicey, but I like yeah. the song in the ED. A I lot. do like the song. I also like the like, um, like them kind of like texting each other. I like that like idea. Mm. It might not have been executed the best, but like just the way it worked out. I kind of, I kind of like it. Like they're they're all individually thinking about like, oh, I'm gonna send these pictures to Naoya, mm-hmm. and then yeah. cut to Naoya's point of view, and he's getting yeah. all these pictures from from these girls. Mike, OP time. That's what we were talking about. Yes. OP and ED. Mike, what did you think of the OP? Jay and I were talking about how we both really like the OP, actually. The song is good, and I like. I generally like the OP. I like the whole triangle motif, like Jay was saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fun. I, I think it's like your kind of typical like romance anime OP. It just, yeah. It didn't really like set off any like alarm bells for me, like in terms of this is going on any OP playlists or anything. But it didn't it, set it, off. It didn't. It didn't light up any neurons. No, activate I, any neurons. I didn't skip it because mm. I was just on my phone most of the times I watched it. But yeah. it it wasn't. It, it was inoffensive. It was fun. It was good. Kind of like the rest of the show. Yeah. 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 yeah it's just goofy. What about the ED? Yeah. I think I preferred the ED a little more, actually. That's fair. Honestly, yeah. I'm not going to die on a, on the hill for either one of them, because the ED mm-hmm. is a lot of fun, too. It's a bit more fan y so I guess that's mm-hmm. why Mike liked it. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, you know Mike loves his fan service. <laughs> sure do. Uh, Show you, partner. But I, I really like the song for the ED. It's like this cool, mm-hmm. like, uh, modern disco-ish type of thing. It's got, like, these little, like, hits in it. It's... Mm-hmm. It's good. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it is a lot of fun. Animation we've talked about quite a bit. And there's not much to talk about in terms of like actual like show production in it because like the sound, the animation in it is all pretty This pretty I will say, pretty milk toast. Yeah. Nothing in here is is mm-hmm. uh is world shattering. Yeah, and I don't think that like not to say like it, it doesn't need it, but like it's not going for best animation in this show. No. Like it it is what it is. And I mean like that that's not me defending it. It's just like, you know, where mm-hmm. would you put intense sakuga in this show? Right? <laughs> no, yeah. Like it kinda wouldn't fit, right? Like yeah. having just suddenly like a crazy well animated part of the show. Mm-hmm. That would be funny though. <laughs> that would be, be really kinda funny. funny. <laughs> Honestly. Like kinda like, like uh like Dragon I, Maid style. Yeah, mm-hmm. just randomly have like some crazy sakuga. Yeah, like on one's animated like reactions. Honestly, I could see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and <laughs> we have world bis- uh, world building here listed as, as something we should discuss. The best world building I've ever seen in an anime. The, the only thing I can think of with world building is how does Saki, who is the next door neighbor here, get permission mm-hmm. to go and stay with with his how with her boyfriend? The, how do either of them get permission? Here's oh, the thing. Oh, let's go meet Saki's mom and realize that she is also like an insane person. <laughs> yeah. Who's like, oh, are you doing it with your boyfriend yet? Yeah. <laughs> Have every, you even kissed? Almost yeah. every character in this anime is an insane person, to be is, Yeah. Yes. Every character in this anime is an insane person with at least one dial turned up to 11. Yeah. And the other one turned down to like to zero. Four. Yeah. yeah. And then the other thing, too, is like if you just like think too hard about anybody's situation in this, it doesn't make any sense either. Because there's like these people, like he has a, a house in Tokyo <laughs> that he just lives in, no problem. Like a three then, bedroom house. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then he, he also has like the ability to invite his neighbor to just live with him. And his, their parents are like, that's cool, for sure. You're yeah. 15. That makes sense. And then yeah. he invites a second girl to live with him, whose parents just don't exist at this point. I don't think so. Because mm-hmm. uh, they let her 
Yeah, they're around. Yeah. Basically, she lives by herself as well. Okay. Yeah. It's that's... just like there's no... And then she... I don't... Lot, I if you think too hard about the show, your brain starts. I will yeah, say though, one of my favorite, out. one of my favorite gags in this show is when Saki Saki is like, "I'm going home," and then it yeah, zooms out to neighbors. Yeah, she I laughed pretty hard when that house. happened. Yeah, yeah. The house next door. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's there's some like good gags in the show. There's some good like little subversive jokes in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, just how, <laughs> like, ev- okay. So imagine being in the class with these with these idiots. Yeah. And having to put up with Naoya and Naoya screaming and then Saki just like beating the shit out of him constantly. <laughs> and they all, they're all they all just like, oh, no, no, that reminds me. There's that one scene where he's like holding onto her on his lap during class and the teacher's like, uh, we're about to start class. And now he's yeah. like, Saki's very lonely. She needs, I just need to hold her. And then he just stands there and he just like. Okay. Then he just starts the lesson. <laughs> yeah. It's just like everybody yeah. just puts up with their bullshit. It's like the world revolves around them. <laughs> oh, because what it a does. Goofy. It does. Uh, okay. It's time to discuss characters. Our best boy. Ooh. I mean, is there even a question, really? <laughs> well, I mean, now he's now he's my best boy. I will hear arguments for Milika's dad, though. Those are the <laughs> only two guys in the show. <laughs> <laughs> Name another guy. The teacher. The teacher. I did. Oh, the okay. Teacher. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So, Mike, take your pick. <laughs> Uh, I can I even go now? Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna go with uh, no, her, his, her dad's terrible too. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with now. Yeah, I guess Millie's Millie's dad is just doing his best trying to yeah. raise his, his he, daughter though? as a single parent. Is he? I like, though? How, I like how he doesn't even ask, like, are your parents okay with this? I should, like, I'm gonna give them a call. Nothing, just okay. No, yeah, yeah. he's just, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, he's just concerned about his. But daughter. her boobs are on the internet. No, never mind. Don't care. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, no. Yeah. So now, yeah, just to uh, confirm, uh, I just want to hear you say it again. Now he is. Can now I is best abstain? Uh, now, yeah, yes. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I think. I think best boy is kind of a silly question in this yeah. one. Yeah. Like, like Mike. Which so is why I'm going with the teacher. No, I'm joking. No, oh, you can't. No. <laughs> I honestly, there could be more boys in this. I just love now, yeah. He's so. So stupid. You guys know how I love my stupid characters. Yeah. You do like your stupid characters. Yes, it's true. And, and Naoya is chief of them. He is them. so yeah. dumb. He's just a block of wood. They're with all a dumb. Heart of gold. <laughs> they're they're all kind of dumb, honestly. Like, they're all even, dumb in their own way. Yeah. Well, like gray hair girl literally says at one point, like, "Oh no, this this girl's stupid." Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're they're all kind of yeah. dumb. I will say, I, like, Nagi says not dumb. She's just kind of like, this is my only choice. Mm-hmm. So she's just going along with it. Mm-hmm. Saki is just like, he, she was just talked into it and barely. She just kind of went along with it. And Naoya is an idiot. Mm-hmm. So Naoya is my best boy. Honest to a fault, but an idiot. Yes. yes. Yep. And J- Jay, just to confirm Naoya. Yeah. Yeah, I just need to make sure. Cole is putting this. He's writing it down in his little ledger. He's like, I have we have agreed that Naoya is the best boy. Now, now is where we get into the meat. Yes, best girl taters. Like I said, this is ultimately who is your favorite Ninja Turtle? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Now, Jay, Jay, why don't you tell us why Leonardo is your favorite Ninja Turtle? Leonardo is my favorite Ninja Turtle because I love swords. It's got to be the blueberry girl, right? Oh yeah, are you kidding it's got to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, she's I love, so cute. Jay. I love, I love Nagisa. She's yeah. adorable. She's uh, she's kind. She's sweet. Best girl. Jay just loves the cinnamon rolls. That's he loves a cinnamon roll with like he loves the character who's like sad inside, but like mm-hmm. works hard to to keep going. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that's she's, Jay's whole jam. And yeah. she's the only character who has like an arc. Yeah, <laughs> the whole thing. She that's true. like yeah. not an arc that's actively happening, but she like had an arc. She, like, yeah, she her has, arc she already has happened. some kind of development that is shown has, in the show. She is literally the only one that has any kind of character development. You're yeah. correct. Yes. Yeah. Now, Mike. Other is, than realizing that they love Naoya, that's the only other character it, it, yeah. development that happens. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, Mike, oh, who's your, who's I have your to best choose. girl? I have to choose from this delicious charcuterie board that you've put, hey, no, put in front of me here. These, these are good girls. These are they're good all, girls. Like I said, it's, it's again, like they're, they're good because they're, to me, they're kind of safe. Like they're just, like I watched that Magical Destroyer show and like it's the same. You have your Sundere, you have your blue girl, you mm-hmm. have your, your bubbly pink girl. You have your whole thing, right? And I have, I am tempted to go with my girl, the streamer. Mm-hmm. I forget her name. Mm-hmm. Milika. Rika. Milika. Rika. Milika. I don't know. I don't know. The streamer with the two two teeth. Because uh, she's funny and she's <laughs> wild and zany. And I, I like that energy. She's got good energy to her. But I don't know if I can support a literal, like, stalker, like, crazy person mm-hmm. at the same mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to go with the one who is like the most sane person so far in this anime. And that's gray hair girl. I don't remember her name. Shino. Shino. Yeah. Cause she like literally, she's the only person who tries talking some sense into these idiots at any time, at any point in this anime. And I, I support her for that. Even though apparently this it does not last forever. I'm a little scared. It doesn't last forever, Michael. Oh, Come on. No. I mean, Hey, they're all she, on the posters. They, they, they <laughs> are all on the poster. And you and do I, I, know what created this show you did bring it up i did yeah Yeah. and and i did look like ahead to like the future cover arts of the manga and she's on like later ones too so i was like oh yeah she's she's good though she's good she seems good i think she's gonna have some good character development i just yeah i don't know i don't know about this one cole tell us why you love saki Uh, i was gonna say yeah so i've bullseyed both of you guys i knew i knew which characters you'd like and and apparently you know which character i like saki is a, her voice actor is the best. B, she's an idiot. And C, yeah. Raphael was the best Ninja Turtle. So, of course, I'm going to go with the red one. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, r- red. And I feel like you like a lazy, lazy girl, too. Like a lazy, stupid girl. And that's kind of what she is. <laughs> so, like... Yeah, she she's, she has big uh, get Cole, get me a beer vibes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I would. I yeah. would. No, I I like Saki. She's uh I don't know. She's so self-conscious as well, uh, yeah. which like isn't endearing, but like it's it's No, I think it is. I, I suppose it's 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 an interesting uh uh trait character point. Yeah. She's self-conscious. Mm-hmm. She is uh maybe not as you know she's discovering things about her uh her she's <laughs> her, discovering way, herself she's discovering herself with uh maybe being attracted slightly to this other girl and also yeah. finding out that maybe she has an ntr fetish yeah i was gonna bring that <laughs> yeah. up too like there, there's definitely like it definitely brings it up a couple times like i i think she's into ntr like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh but no saki is and and i just sometimes I like in, in a show like this, I like the characters who are like loud. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she is very loud. In this show. She is constantly screaming her and now are him. and hitting him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, screaming. And like, it's weird with her too. Cause like with every time that they show like her, Whole, like they dig a little deeper into her she like mm-hmm. basically has no reason for what she's doing anything she kind of just like like you said she's just like along for the ride <laughs> she's just along for the ride and be like her and Naoya are truly made for each other because they're just doing what feels good in that moment mm-hmm. it's like when yeah, yeah. when she is she on I, light spoilers I guess uh when she on's like why we woo we woo why why are you doing this and she's like oh uh now uh nagi says cooking is really good yeah and that's like her yeah. reason <laughs> yeah that's that's insane yeah they're all insane people like i said earlier yeah yeah it's just like but then they're all just like whatever we know uh, yeah, we know what fun. we're doing it's it's, it's okay yeah. yeah um yeah i think we've pretty well talked about everything pre-spoiler that we want to talk about what about our our ending thoughts Mm-hmm. And our ratings. A T H O T S. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've kind of, I feel like I've said my thoughts a lot. It's it is a fun show. I mm-hmm. I won't. Mm-hmm. I'll give it that. It's not my cup of tea, like Jay said earlier. It's yeah. just not what I drive for. And I I feel like the there's three shows that are like t- inexplicably tried or tied together, and that's this show, Rent a Girlfriend, and Domestic Girlfriend. 
I haven't seen Domestic Girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> and they all came out the same time. Yeah, they're I all guess. kind of the same okay. genre. They're all kind of the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah. it's, it's just like their from own one extreme twist. to the other. Like one yeah. is like super drama and the other is just straight comedy. And then yeah. Rent a Girlfriend's right in the middle. In the, in the middle, middle, doing yeah. nothing. Yeah, well, they, honestly, Jay, spoilers. You always say that like nothing happens in Rent a Girlfriend, but nothing happens in this damn show either. To be but fair, that's that's the beauty of it. Michael. I know. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, I, I will admit it's fun, and I do admit the characters are fun, mm-hmm. despite me not really like. I can't really say I enj- I liked any of them. Mm-hmm. Just because they're just kind of a little too like. Well, they're all unlikable. Oh yeah, like they're except just, for Nagisa. Like Nagisa is good genuinely bad. like. A cinnamon roll. Yeah. But they're they're basically like she's the Seinfeld role. character. They're all just like Yeah, no, I, I liken the show to a sitcom like Seinfeld because like yeah. they're all yeah. dumb. Like so many problems could be resolved in like with like a conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like yeah. Mike, continue your, your ending thoughts. I'm sorry. Oh yes. Uh ending thoughts. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I do like all that stuff. The, the animation and stuff is and I and the pacing kind of brought it down for me for sure. Mm-hmm. The sound is good enough. I don't know. It's just not my my thing. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna just stop talking about it now and wait till the spoilers. And my final rating for this one is a tricky one. I'm gonna go with Oh, uh, I don't I can't give it too bad of a score because it was fun. I'm gonna give it a background character i think yeah. that's fair i that's think that's fair, fair. Yeah. yeah i got enough out of it to say can't, i can't say i didn't enjoy it but it was not something i'm ever gonna watch again yeah listen mike you're on the fence about watching season two yeah you're curious you're curious exactly like i i can't say i didn't enjoy it but i can't say i would ever make you're not someone seeking watch this. this out yeah no yeah, yeah. jay um yeah, I think Cole hit the predictions on the money. Like, I do like this show, mm-hmm. um, but I, if, if I'm being completely objective, this show is not for everyone. Um, <laughs> no. Certainly not. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it, has, um, it has an appeal and a sense of humor that if you like it and if you find that funny, you'll be into the show. If you don't, you won't. <laughs> My my co-hosts are, are uh, mocking me, but yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, like it, it's it's a <laughs> it's a good show. Um, <laughs> if you like those kinds of things, I did. I thought it was funny, and I like the dynamic between all the characters. I thought that that was really funny. Um, and overall, it was fun. I wouldn't like recommend it to. A, a random person on the street going, "Hey, what's a good anime?" Um, but if if someone asked me, like, "Hey, I'm looking for some trash to watch. What what would you recommend?" This would probably this, be on on yeah. the platter. You hit um, the nail on the head there, Jay. Yeah. Like, this is you're some not, good trash. You got to know your audience if you're going to mm-hmm. recommend this show. Yeah. yeah. Um, and for that reason, um, I'm inclined to give it supporting because I did like it, but I think if I'm going to give it an objective rating, I'd go background. So somewhere along, somewhere on the fence there. Yeah. Nice. A high, high level background character, yeah. like the teacher, like the teacher in this anime. Yeah. Yeah. A yeah. high level background character, <laughs> memorable character, the teacher. Um, listen, I've gushed about this show and it's true. It's not the best show out there. It's kind of a stupid, reductive, uh, dumb, dumb show. I don't think anyone's saying it's the best show either. But you so know it's kinda... what? You know what, though? What? It Tell me. knows that it, that's what it is. <laughs> that's kind of why I was like so, leaning like, towards I, supporting. My, my rating is... I I I have to factor that in. Like it's not trying to be Schindler's List, you know. It's not trying no. to be Ben Hur, Citizen Wait, Kane. Wait, I went into it thinking it was Schindler's List. I know that's <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> you got to go into this knowing what it is. And I honestly don't know of a show that can take a pre- that would take a premise like this and execute it as well as it does for me. And that is why I am going to rate this. You're not. No, I'm no, not. I'm not. Gonna, I am going to give this a supporting character, though. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I will rate it higher 
But like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> delusional. I'm not going to give this a protagonist. Uh, if I was rating on a curve and I was rating, you. if I was rating this compared to like shows in a similar genre, I think this is like among the best shows of just like trashy. If somebody comes to you and they're like, recommend me some trash. I'm like, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Girlfriend, yeah, for girlfriend. Sure. For it's sure. Dumb. It's a good time. Yeah. See, the I thing can... is, I, I feel like I would always recommend Rent a Girlfriend over this, is my interesting, maybe a little counter to that. I think it depends I just think on it's... the person. My I think thing there's with... just more for the general public with Rent a Girlfriend. There's more for everyone there, whereas this is maybe a little more niche. Maybe. I just don't find Rent a Girlfriend's jokes as funny. And I find it trying to pander to, like, people's, like, sensitivities to be, I don't know. It's just like, no, no, you're, no, you're, no, stay in your lane. No. This is more of a pure comedy, whereas, yeah, mm. Rent a Girlfriend is not afraid to get a little more sad, I guess. Maybe a little more po- introspective. Maybe. And if Rent a Girlfriend didn't go- isn't going for as long as it is, yeah. then maybe I wouldn't be so hard on it, but. Yeah, you can't. I'm talking just purely the anime here. You guys yeah. are manga elitists. I am just an anime only <laughs> loser. So, mm. oh, Mike, that in. Mike, the anime is going to keep going. It's not. Yeah. It's not ending. Oh, I believe you. Yeah, we're yeah. on season three. Are they dating yet? Oh no. No. Okay. Um, Michael, why don't you? No, wait. What order did we go in? We went J. J. Why don't you tell us which show you are nominating before we go into spoilers? Yeah. Oh, oh, we're doing this before. Spons? Yes. Yes. So that people know. People, yeah. Because they're okay. going to tune out if they haven't watched. Yeah. yeah I guess so. I yeah. guess so. Um. Yeah. So yeah, I said that my show was a twenty twenty a twenty ten anime, um, mm-hmm. by Studio Madhouse, and it is on High Dive. It's uh, true. 12 I was episodes, there when you said it. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's based on mm-hmm. a manga. Um. And the show that I am proposing that we watch mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. High School of the Dead. Ooh, oh, that's a spicy pick. I like it. Let's go get that etchy. Sp- yeah. Spicy, we haven't spicy. Watched, we haven't watched like a really etchy show yet. And I feel like uh, but, this one was pretty etchy. Uh, it had its it was, moments. It had its moments for sure. It had uh, its Mike, moments, but like I wouldn't say like really like. It wasn't raunchy, I wouldn't yeah, say. No, yeah. it, it was a little cl- too. It was classy. It, it was a little, it no, was it was just a little too, too. It was cute etchy. Whereas <laughs> yeah. I feel yeah. like High School of the Dead is more like. Yeah, don't watch this on the plane. Don't watch yeah. this in public. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. watching it on my big screen TV. Uh, yeah. Mike, what's what's uh, what's your nomination? Uh, I also watch this one on my big screen TV as well. But uh, my nomination, so I, I gave some hints here. It's an old OVA mm-hmm. by Madhouse, based on a light novel, based on a Dungeons and Dragons campaign, and rated quite mature. Mm. Now, this show has a 7.35 on my anime list. And it came out in the year older than I think any of us, 1990. <gasps> that is older Thir- than me. Yes, 13 episodes. The anime that I am nominating for our listener's choice, number three, is The Record of the Lodos War OVAs. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa, that's wild. I've been wanting to no. watch that, so I'm... So have I. I've I've heard interesting things. I've heard it's very good for fantasy, mm-hmm. and I've heard the animation holds up for its day. So I'm, I'm interested. And I I, I just hankering like a little bit of like a nice old anime, like a retro anime OVA feel. So that's why mm-hmm. I'm nominating this one. Well, I thought about making you guys watch the 1982 36 episode Macross, uh, mm-hmm. but I am. Um... It's outside the bounds of our agreement. I am nothing if not kind to you two. So I went with a shorter show. This one is 12 episodes from Studio Phil 2017. It is a show that I've talked about before on the podcast. One of my favorite romance shows ever. And that is Suki Gakire. I love you. As I can see Jay like... frantically trying to google what this show was Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah he's looking at studio feel 2017 oh oh yes oh yes there it is all the clues line up (laughs) uh so yeah uh you will be able to vote between these three shows for the next uh, few weeks and our next review will be one of them uh but what do you guys think about this little thing here It's time for spoilers. 
Oh my god. The spoilers absolutely don't matter in this show. No. no. I was gonna like this is it almost feels like a joke to have a spoiler drop for this show because nothing really none of the plot matters in this show. No, none of the plot no. matters. There there isn't uh, really like a plot. Like I mean the only is? thing I was the only thing I was trying to tiptoe around was that like Milika uh kind of falls in love with Nalia. She loves him. She was. She, she I will never. Him. I will never get over uh, uh, my dress up, darling. I love him. I love him. Um, yeah, she loves him, and she's Sundere, But then she just becomes like straight up like she just she just wants to end this relationship. Which one's Milika? The blonde one. Oh, the the twin the, fang. Yeah. yeah, the twin twin oh, okay. fang twin fang YouTuber. She's a fun character. She's got a bit of a character arc as well. But her yeah. arc is basically just going from I want to date him for some reason to I want to date him because I love him. Yeah. Because he's nice to me? Because he's nice to me and that he's so cool. <laughs> because he helped he tries... me because he helped me save my MeTube channel from my you know, father. I want to she... date him because it helps make this anime move along and it was decided before I was even a character. Well, I mean, sure. Yeah. Yes. That's ultimately the real that's what I it mean. Comes down you to. can say that about basically any romance anime. I, I I like him because it was decided before I was even created. Wow. Well, Maybe that's all we are. <laughs> that's all we are. <laughs> free free will is an illusion. Oh, what I was basically getting at is that like there is it almost feels like for all of these characters, other than maybe the blueberry girl, I, I, I feel like there's not really a good reason why they like Naoya. Well, I think I think uh like <laughs> red haired girl k- kinda likes him out of like convenience. Maybe. Convenience and the fact like and he, he just he love bombed like, her. Yeah. Yeah. He kind of like is kind of, he there's a lot her. of like non-consensual type love yeah, stuff going maybe, on. Maybe maybe a little manipulative, but you yeah. know what? I'm not watching the show to critique no. its uh, uh, problematic natures. Uh, yeah. Because I mean, where's then? Then you're not having fun watching anything. There's always going to be problems. That's right. That's what drama makes things fun, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, if anything, I felt this show could have used a little more drama. It was a little other than like the, the only real drama in this dang show was like, no, I want to bang him. No, I want to bang him. <laughs> you want to bang him? Oh my gosh, you slut! And then it was just kind of like, <laughs> I love. Yeah, but that's what's funny. That's the joke. It's not funny though. I love that the Japanese <laughs> word for slut is bitch. It's yes. so funny to me. Yeah, it's funny. Beachy. Whenever the and bitchy, whenever they call yeah. somebody a slut, they're yeah. bitch. It's funny, uh, Mike. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta watch the du- the sub of this one, man. Mm-hmm. I'm telling mm-hmm. you, it's just. I don't want to watch this twice. You gotta. I'm gonna. <laughs> where? Bring can't. me the chair. Bring me the I duct tape brother. chair. Let's get the chair out. We're getting yeah. the chair out. You guys just do it. your usual thing and send me clips of people speaking Japanese, and then I'll watch the clip. That's what we'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Our usual clips of Japanese speaking. Yes. Um. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what else is there to yeah, even say I, about honestly, this show. Honestly, this is always going to be a pretty... Honest, I, I feel like this is always going to be a pretty... This is basically the plot section, and the plot yeah. is, like, the last reason you'd watch this show. Yeah. 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 The only, like, I'm, I, I, I just didn't want to mention, like... I mean, yeah. everybody knows. You see the posters. Obviously, all of these girls are in love with now. Yeah, even the gray-haired girl. She says it at the end of the show. Yeah, she kind of gives hints towards it, which I was kind of like, "Why? She's, Why are you doing this?" She's she, <laughs> Why because are she's got this? a crush on him, and she's got to she's got to like bury those feelings, and she can't bury them because if a bunch of girls are going are gonna start dating him. Uh, then like, how is she gonna how is she gonna not yeah. like him? It's yeah. that old trope. Yeah. Eh? yeah, it's that old trope where the boy is start is dating all of these girls. <laughs> no, no, it's the trope from. Oh, what show did I just watch where this happened? Where they they got the girls like try. Well, it, almost, it happens with Blueberry Girl and Red Hair there. Where yeah, no, no, it's it's yeah, the classic it love triangle. But this yeah. is a love love pentagram. <laughs> <laughs> it's so unholy. <laughs> love pentagram. It's summoning Satan himself. It's summoning this yeah. show is honestly summoning <laughs> Satan. This show That's the is, cold open. That's is the cold proof. Open. <laughs> is proof that anime was a mistake. Anime was indeed demonic. Demonic. This anime is demonic, and I love it. 
Yeah. I love it so much. I can't yeah. wait for I'm season glad you two. Do. I'm glad that you, you go up on your fence and stand up for this. Anime. I can't wait for season two, and I can't wait for Mike to be watching season two because he oh, can't I'll probably resist. Watch it. I'll he probably watch it. Can't resist the, the charms. I guess I'll be the one of the three of us to not watch it then. Um, you're not going to watch it? Nah. I know that nah. you read the manga. No, nah, Jay's nah, a, a manga the, supremacist. No, the, yeah. no, it's just kind of like that rewatch thing of like, I've, I already know what happened. I already know what ha- exactly what happens. Yeah, so but like, don't you want to? Don't you want to watch the the desert island arc, Jay? There's a desert island arc. Oh, just you wait. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> There's some a, spicy you've, you've stuff a, that you've happens. You've got a point, Cole. <laughs> yeah, you, you got to see that animated. <laughs> you yeah, do I, I feel point. like. I feel like sometimes you you read something and Jay will say, "Oh, I've read it. I don't need to watch it." But sometimes you want to see how it gets animated. You kind of want to relive it a little it, bit. It and really I depends. don't blame you at all for not wanting to relive this show. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like I'm more like that for Rent a Girlfriend because I've already experienced what's going on in the anime, so I'd be more inclined to watch this. Yeah. But like, yeah, I don't I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have I don't know, see. Mike. Maybe you got to read the manga. Maybe yeah, Mike. The manga more. <laughs> I don't know if I do. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna send you just panels out of context. Sure, do it. I'm sure they're quite etchy. <laughs> I, this is one Mike. I could just feel like the the manga was much much more like adult. No, than, really? Well, no, it really yeah. isn't. They did a very good job of adapting this. I think mm-hmm. it's pretty oh, well okay. straight off the page. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, uh, you're getting, you're probably going to get uh, volume one for Christmas. I'll just tell you that right now. <laughs> oh, I'll go right next to my volume one of Rent a Girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, perfect. You, you like Rent a Girlfriend. Yeah. I can unironically say I enjoy Rent a Girlfriend. Well, yeah. I think we'll talk about that tomorrow at lunch. <laughs> we shall, yeah. We shall. I'm going for hot pot. We're going for hot pot. I don't know. Hot is there dogs? Any, is there, I already had hot dogs. I know, Jay's been slurping on wieners this whole time. (laughs) Uh, Is there any other, like, spoilery things you guys want to talk about? I can't, I, to life of me, I cannot, I was watching this and I was literally like, you know how you're always joke about your, like, duct tape chair, you duct tape the eyes open and you're just, like, watching? Mm -hmm. I was kind of watching this just kind of, like, eyes glazed over for the most part. And Did Shazana see any of this? Uh, Or was she spared? Or were you spared? I think I watched it the, while she was at work, so oh. I don't think she saw any of it. And I, I, it was definitely one where she'd shame. come down and she'd be like, what is this crap? I picked this show to punish Michael. <laughs> no, you didn't. You <laughs> no, picked I this didn't. show because you love it. I picked this show because I love it and season two is coming out. Uh, no, it's a good n- review, honestly. It is. It, no, I, it was, it was I'm glad fun. you picked it. I almost was going to nominate Domestic Girlfriend as my nomination for the next review just so we could complete the unholy trifecta. <laughs> But I chickened out. You chickened out. Well, yeah. I mean, one of you guys could make me watch uh, Rent a Girlfriend, and that would this be... This is true. It's true. This is true. Yeah. yeah, that would be that would be an apt punishment for making making you guys do this. Uh, but that's it for this week. We will be back next week. But until we come back next week... Uh, oh, I was about to say bye-bye, but no, I got a whole thing I got to say. Um, <laughs> got a whole thing. And uh, I will quickly throw out there that you will not have that long to vote on this. Because I just remembered we do need to decide a winner and then watch the show before we record our next review, right? Yeah, they got like so two weeks. They I think. got like a week or two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can follow us on social media at Annie Pro Pod. That's A N I P R O P O D. You can follow each of us individually. All of our things are down below. Or if you're listening to us, it's in the description. Uh, leave a like, review, subscribe. Give us five stars, please. Uh, tell a friend all about us. If you have a friend who likes anime, perhaps they will enjoy this anime podcast uh and perhaps they'll want to join our discord links to everything is at our website antipropod.com seriously join our discord it's a lot of fun we got lots of people there we're doing tournaments now it's a crazy time and if you really 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 like our show why don't you consider joining our patreon like these wonderful patrons uh mr family guy 36 elijah Mm -hmm. wood Mm brain dead b dog Super Mexi, Peach, and Frama. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, wait. Wait, what? You've forgotten one. Did I? 
You did. We oh, have a new patron. we do have a new patron. Yes. The chief of the mailbag. The tribal chief of the mailbag himself, Kratos. Is it Kratos? 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 I don't know. Kratos. Something. Uh, he's, he's now a patron as well. Why don't you join our Patreon, dear <laughs> listener? No. No. <laughs> no? No. Why don't you guys? But you can <laughs> Why don't right you now by, by going yeah. to <laughs> patreon.com slash antipropod. That's, That's right. Right. Why don't you do that? Um, yeah, you get some extra benefits. Benefits. Uh, benefits. You get uh, early episodes. You get bonus episodes once a month. Uh, you get a little, a little. Uh, everybody knows that you're a patron in our Discord. And you also you're get blue. access. You're blue. 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 And uh, you also get access to an exclusive chat where you can chat with us at any time. Mm hmm. It's beyond that, you got the bonus episodes you got the everything man it's good yeah. stuff being a yeah. bonus what was our one. most recent bonus episode what did we do we uh, did uh we roasted slash yes. critiques people's annie list that they sent us yes yeah and then we put it behind a paywall because we're evil people yeah <laughs> <laughs> are you curious what we said about your anime list probably mm -hmm. sucked <laughs> no, I think we I think we were pretty pretty nice. Uh, to we're, we're too Canadian to be too mean. But yeah. uh I felt say, bad when I was speak being for mean. yourself. Yeah, you jerk. You jerk? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That was not called for. Yeah. Uh, I will. S what did I want to say? I had. Oh yeah, our next one's gonna be. Uh, we're, aren't we doing a waifu or husbando tier list? Yeah. One of those. One of those. Something. We haven't decided Something. yet. Yeah, one one of those two. Yeah, because we yeah. took suggestions from our patrons, and I remember they suggested one of those. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that would be just quintessential quintuplets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a quintessential a anime group, podcast Cole. thing. I will get us out of here. Uh, what, are, what are the la what are the three shows we're going to possibly review one last time? We're going to possibly review my show that I nominated, Suki Gakire. My show Suki that I Gakire. My show that I nominated, High School of the Dead. It's and I nominated Record of the Lodos War. Whoa. 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 Or if you want us to watch Macross, I'd be down for that as well. <laughs> Come to our Discord for a Macross watch party with Cole. He'll be hosting every night at uh, 3 3 in the afternoon. Yes. <laughs> I'm, he's not doing that. I will. Don't do that. But come he's to doing, our Discord, though. Come he's to our doing Discord, it. though. Um... Yeah, we'll be back next week, but until we come back next week, now I can say, as we do at the end of every episode of the Anime Protagonist Podcast, bye-bye. Mm, bye-bye. 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 Mm.